Hello everybody, this is Latina, your project manager with Kinsman Point Consulting. And in this video, I'll be doing a quick tutorial on how to organize your emails and Outlook. Now, if this or any of my other project management content is of interest to you, please like and comment on this video. Also subscribe and hit that notification bell to get further updates on my videos. Now, just to set the stage a little bit, the reason I decided to do this video is because I was in a meeting recently and just before the meeting started, people were lamenting over how many emails um, they had in their inbox and how challenging it was to keep, uh, keep track of everything and keep everything, uh, keep their in inboxes clear. Um, I was hearing numbers in the thousands, which honestly brought up all kinds of anxiety for me. I mean, I'm not perfect, but I try to keep my inbox as uncluttered and as organized as I possibly can. Um, now, I have to say that the, email, the numbers I, I heard people uh, quoting had me clutching my pearls, okay? I was like, how are y'all living with all these emails in your inbox? So <laughs> with that said, I thought it would be helpful to go ahead and create a video on how to organize your emails and outlooks. So I'll be sharing a couple of tips that hopefully will get your, your mind flowing, your, your creativity flowing on how you can go ahead and uh, organize those emails so that you can keep that inbox as clean as possible. So the agenda for this particular uh, video, I'm going to be going through a couple of things here. One, we're going to create a rule that moves emails from your inbox to a specific folder based on the subject line. We're going to create a rule that flags emails as important from a specific person that's sent directly to you. We're also going to look at moving an email from a specific person to a specific folder. Um, and we're also going to look at creating a folder in Outlook and how to do that. All right, so stay tuned. Okay, now that I'm in my Outlook application, let's get into the details of organizing our emails. So the first thing that we're going to do is create a rule that moves emails from your inbox to a specific folder based on the subject line. So in this particular scenario, I have an email here that says, uh, Diamond Firm Staff Resource Confirmation, and it's from Sheila. So I sent her an email about some staff resources um, and confirming that those resources, resources would be working on the project, and she sent an email back to me. Now, one of the things um, that I do in my projects is as a team rule, I usually ask my team to always put the name of the client in the subject line of any email that they're sending. And the reason I do that is because it makes it really easy for me to search when I'm looking for particular emails. It also allows me to create a rule that allows me to move those emails to a specific folder. So I'm gonna use that, um, that, uh, that scenario and show you how I'm gonna move this or automatically remove this, move this, move this email. All right. So the way that I'm going to do that is I'm going to right click on this particular email. I'm going to go to where it says rules and I'm going to create rule. So when this pop up window comes up, I'm going to, it says when I get an email with, with, with the selected conditions, the conditions I'm going to select here are subject contains. And I am going to remove everything except for the name of the client. In this, in this case, the, the name of the client is Diamond Firm. So when the subject contains Diamond Firm, I'm going to do the following. I'm gonna move the item to, to a folder. And the folder that I'm going to select, it has a default folder here that I don't want. So I'm gonna hit select folder and I'm gonna put it into this initial dash Diamond Firm folder and then click okay. All right, and then once I've done that, I'm going to click OK here. It says the diamond rule firm has been created. Run this rule now on messages already in the current folder. If I do that, if I check that and say OK, it's going to move that directly into this folder. Now, that allows me to clear out my inbox. And from now and from this point forward, any email where the subject line has the name of this client, it's gonna automatically sort itself into that folder. Now, little caveat, that doesn't, that doesn't catch everything, right? So just because my team, my project team sends me emails with, that, with the name of the client on it, doesn't mean that my client is gonna always do that. So it cleans it out the majority of the time, but 
I, there may be some stragglers where there'll be some additional emails that are not in this folder. So what you can do is you can get a little creative. You can go in, for example, and when you start get, getting emails back from your client, you can create a separate rule. And I'm going to go here, just I'm going to show this one as an example. I'm not going to do it. I'm just going to show it as an example. If I go back into this particular folder um, or into this particular shortcut and go to rules, create rule, I can then, instead of using subject contains, I can use my condition of from the name of my client and then still move it to that folder. So once uh, over time, as I'm getting emails from different people on the project, I can start to sort those so that they automatically go into a specific folder for me to read that are just related to that client. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and cancel that. Now, what I typically do, if I click on this folder, I see it here in my initial Diamond Firm folder, I can then go in, read the email, take whatever action I need to take on it. And then what I typically do is I will manually move this particular uh, email from my initial folder to a folder labeled Diamond Firm, just with the name of the firm without, without the word initial on it. These are emails that I've read and taken action on that I wanna save. So you guys know the routine, right? You get a lot of emails and those emails have a huge thread of conversation on it. What I typically do is once a final decision has been made, I will take that final email that has the entire thread attached and I'll throw it into this folder, right? I do also, um, as a point of note, I also add emails to this folder that have attachments to it, like any uh, document, it's documents attached. And I do that just in case I need to go back and refer to a document that was attached. If I shared it out somewhere and it's, it's not easily found, then I will go ahead and uh, pull it from this folder, okay? So that's first things first. We created a rule that moves emails from your inbox to a specific folder based on the subject line. So now we're back in the main inbox and the next Outlook tip that I want to share is creating a rule that flags emails as important from a specific person. Now, the scenario is this. This email that's sitting in my inbox right now from Sheila was sent directly to me in response to an email that I sent to her. So let's say that Sheila is either your manager or maybe she is the project sponsor um, on your project. So you want to highlight those emails as important so that when you go to your inbox, you see those first. Those emails are flagged or highlighted so that um, you know that they were sent directly to you. So you want to look at those first. So the way that you do that, is I'm going to go ahead and right click on this email. I'm going to go over to rules and choose create rule again. Now, when this pop-up window comes up, what I'm going to do in terms of my conditions, I'm going to check that I'm gonna create this rule of messages that are from Sheila sent to me only, and it's defaulting to that. Um, now, once I have th these conditions set, I need to go over to advanced options to choose some other uh, choices here, make some other choices. So this first part are the conditions, and I've already chosen those from my from the from the previous window. So sent only to me from Sheila. And I click next. Step two in this process is what do you want to do with the message? So in this case, I am going to mark it as important. Okay. And then once I do that, I can go down here to uh, do some additional editing, and it's going to ask me the type of importance. So I'm gonna set it at a high level of importance and click okay. Now, if you look at these advanced options, there's a lot of ways in which you can get pretty granular with the type of rules you create here. So I would encourage you to go out and check these out and um, see, uh, get a little creative uh, with other messages that you wanna create rules for. I'm gonna go ahead and click the stop processing more rules here to mark the end of this rule. Now, one other thing I will do just to show you is like these are conditions here that I'm adding. If I go ahead and hit next again, I get a second option to create some exceptions if necessary. So this is not uh, required, it's just optional, but I just wanted to show you how granular you can get, um, you know, except if it has an attachment, for example. So I can, I can rule out some of these other things and really make these rules pretty specific uh, to sort out my inbox. So, but for this example, I'm going to go ahead, I can hit my back button. I've got all my uh, 
basically descriptions here I need for my rule, I'm gonna go ahead and choose finish. Now this says this rule will only run when you check your email and Outlook. If Outlook isn't running, this rule won't work for email you check online or from another device. It's just letting you know that this rule is only gonna work when you're using Outlook from your desktop versus from a web browser or from your mobile phone. I'm gonna click okay. okay. And that rule is now in place. So going forward, any emails that come from Sheila directly to me will mark as important. And you'll see the importance uh, marker or icon right off here to the left here under this uh, window here that says importance, all right? Now, one other thing I want to talk about with regards to emails um, from one person that may come directly to you, another thing that you can do is that you can move an email from a specific person to a specific folder. So in that scenario, for me, if it's from a project sponsor or from a manager, um, I'm going to want to see it in my inbox. So I, that's why I showed you this particular route. But what you can do for emails like this or other types of email you can send it to a specific folder if it's coming from a spe specific person. So I can right click again on the email just to show you what that, that does. Um, I can go to rules and then right here at the very top, I can say always move messages from Sheila. If I click that, it's gonna bring up my uh, section here where I can choose my folder. So if I have a folder with her name attached to it or maybe some other folder labeled differently, I can choose that and say, okay, and then what instantly happens in this case is that it moves over to the left here in this folder. So again, if I have specific emails from specific people that I wanna to move to special folders, it's another way of decluttering your inbox, right? So you can move those emails over and then every day you can have a routine of going to your folders to check your emails uh, rather than sorting through an inbox with many, many emails, okay? now. Final thing that I'll show you guys in my uh, example here in my demo is off to the left here where I have folders. You may be wondering, well, how do I get a folder in here? Um, when, you, when you first start using Outlook, there's gonna be the standard inbox, deleted items, sent items. Those, those items are gonna be here. Um, but to create some of these other folders, it's really, really super easy. You right click right at the top here. Let me click out of this. This uh, at the top here is where your email address is gonna show. Um, if you right click, um, you can choose new folder. And then you can simply type a name. And then just press enter. Oh, I actually created a folder already for this. So let me say okay. And so it will try, it will check you if you created the, if you're creating the folder with the same name, we'll let you have two folders with the same name. We'll just say test two and then press enter. All right. And then just as, just as easy as that, you've got a folder and then you can move it to wherever you want. So I can click and drag it down here, put it right underneath my first test folder that I created. And then I can also rename it just by right clicking on the folder itself and choosing rename folder. And then I can uh, type in a new name there. And then finally, if I don't want the folder, once I've uh, exhausted the use of the folder, I can simply delete folder. Now, uh, Yes, so I want it yes to move it to my deleted items folder. Okay, so this is really good because what ends up happening here is that once I have, uh, let's say in, in the example of my initial uh, diamond firm folder and my diamond firm folder here, once I no longer have that person as my client or that, that organization is no longer my client, I could delete the folder or uh, I could, what, what I'll probably do in a scenario like that, I'll probably delete the initial diamond firm folder because it won't have anything else in it. And then what I may do is I may archive this folder. I may right click it and I may rename it uh, to do not use or previous client. I may put some, I may rename it to put some uh, marker here in front and then move it further down my list of folders. And I'll hold on to that folder maybe for a certain period of time before I completely get rid of the contents of it. Okay, so let's recap what we've done in this video. So in this video, we created a rule that moves emails from your inbox to a specific folder based on the subject line. We also created a rule that flags emails as important from a specific person. 
We also moved an email from a specific person from a specific person to a specific folder. And we also looked at creating a folder in Outlook. So guys, I hope this was helpful. I hope this gave you some uh, tips and tricks uh, on how to manage your Outlook inbox. And I hope that you see uh, your inbox managed a lot more, a lot, a lot better, and that you can uh, make sure you don't have all those emails in your inbox. All right. So again, hope it was helpful. This is Latina, your project manager with Kinsman Point Consulting. If you have a project that needs to be finished, let me know. Or if you are a project manager who would like to build a healthy relationship with your project or your team, connect with me. Uh, subscribe to my YouTube channel, Latina at KPC. Also follow me on Instagram, chat with me on Twitter, and check out my website, kinsmanpointconsulting.com. Thanks for watching. Bye.